Hey there, this is Akshay Nadan. Welcome back to a new video, and this video is quite interesting because I am ready with a website, or you can say a simple web app that I have built using Flutter on the front end side and Fast API, that's a Python framework on the back end side, right? So back end is not very complex for this simple website. It's a simple request that I've coded over there. But yes, the Flutter is the front end and Python is the back end. So let's check out my website first and then I'm also going to walk you through my code. The code is not yet open source, but yes, I'm going to make it open source very soon. So follow me on LinkedIn because there I'm going to push an update that, hey, my website, my portfolio website code is now open source. You can solve the issues, you can create new issues or you can also contribute to this, uh, to this code or you can also uh, fork it and create your own portfolio website with your own add-ons. Right. So follow me on LinkedIn because there I'm going to push an update. Right. So let's check out my website. So this is a simple website. Now, if you're asking me uh, how much time it took me to be precise, just one day. Right. In that one day, uh, around four to five hours uh, took me to uh, like code the front end that's in Flutter and two hours uh, I uh, took to code the back end side that was in Python. So it took me only one day. And yes, the design was already coded, uh, not coded, it was already there. On Figma, I took a community. I just went on internet and say, hey, portfolio design ideas. I went to Dribble and say, portfolio design ideas. And I got this design. It's not exactly similar. I did my own additions into it. But yeah, the color scheme, the color codes I took from a community design, right? So yes, this is a simple website. First of all, I'm having at the background, you can see that animation, that astronaut animation that I took from Rive, right? R-I-V-E. That's a company where you can actually get the community version uh, animation files or you can also create your own animation files and you can use them in your Flutter applications, right? So that's the credit goes to Rive, right? Then you can see that I'm just putting my simple introduction, my simple links, and you can see these icons, uh, this Instagram icon, GitHub icon, LinkedIn and YouTube. So this is a, actually a package and this package is also coded by me. So that package name is social media flutter. I'll put the link in the description, but this is a simple package that I'm using that helps me to, uh, like put my social media links in my application, mobile applications or web application. So this is a simple flutter package that was also coded by me, right? So then simple highlights, what I'm doing, <coughs> what I'm currently up to, right? Then uh, simple, my tech expertise, all my, uh, expert like all my tech stack in which I'm expert at. So these are all my tech stacks, then my latest videos. So yes, this part, this latest videos part is coming from the server, right? So that Python server, it just makes a request to the YouTube API that, Hey, this is a channel ID and I want to fetch the latest 10 videos for this channel ID, right? And it returns me a complete JSON. I take that JSON, uh, uh, send it to my client side and uh, that JSON is having the video ID thumbnail URL. So this is a thumbnail URL and uh, the title you can see this video title so this is all coming from my python backend right and if my server fails because currently i'm i've not purchased a uh, starter version of render so this server the server is hosted on render.com right and i'm just running on the free version so that server actually sleeps after 15 minutes so what i'm doing it doing is uh, if my server returns null or if my server returns me timeout that means the server is not able to complete the request then i'm also showing the static video urls and static video thumbnails right so that user does not always see that loading bar he or she should be able to see some content right so that exception handling is also done in this code right then moving ahead i have contact me you can contact me on this email and then same package and then this uh at the last i have a footer so this is a simple website that uh, took me a day to code it. And yes, I'm going to add, add more things. I'm going to have a resources page where I'm going to push my PDFs, my roadmaps, uh, my resources, PDF files, everything will be there on that portal. So resources portal, or will, is, it is going to come. And you can see that enrollments for my Flutter Hindi course is also live. You can click on enroll now and you can see that uh, Flutter Hindi course is also live. So if you want to learn Flutter from me, you can actually enroll into this course. So yes, so this was, um, and yes, we also should check out the responsiveness. So I click on inspect and you can see that this is the mobile view, right? In mobile, I'm not showing that astronaut. I do not want to like confuse it in that small screen. So I've removed that astronaut and simple purplish tintish backup background is there. And you can see that this is a simple gradient 
and same thing and it is fully responsive website right now if you want to see the tablet view so let's check out the tablet view and if i just increase the size let me just remove it and uh, inspect it's not let me remove it from here and let's see out yes so this is a tablet view in tablet also i'm not showing that i just wanted to keep it simple in the smaller screens and you can see that highlights are there then videos are there so i'm using a wrap for this video grid not using a grid view dot builder so that it automatically adjusts according to the width of the device right so this is a simple tablet view and now let's check out the code so code is currently private but i'm going to soon make it public maybe let's say on 200 likes on this video i'm going to make the code of server and client side both public right so you can see that first of all let's uh, obviously whenever you see a flutter app you should check out what's there in pubspec.yml so that we are aware about all the packages that we are using let me increase the font size and you can see that flutter svg block i'm using block state management for getting the getting the response from the api then making the state change everything is done using block right then get it for dependency injection responsive builder for making the web website look responsive do for making the api request and then uh, url launcher for navigating to a different website as you saw that when i was clicking on a uh, link it was navigating me then social media flutter this is the package that's actually coded by me around 6 months ago and you can utilize this package for uh, showing the icons and there are other ad additions also in that that you can also show a, a placeholder text everything is that there in that package so you can check that out and marky text so this is not actually utilized for now but i'm going to plan it i'm planning it to push it in the next version where this thing this thing should be in marky format that means uh, it should go from right to left in animation format so that was that's my plan but i'm going to push it very soon now let me just decrease the font size and let's check out lib uh let's check out lib in lib we have core So core is having all the API level code. That means making an API request, uh, creating a DO client, then getting the response, managing the exception handling, catching all the error states. Everything is there in this core. In config, I have my environment file. So in the environment file, I'm having my server URL, and I'm having the uh, if I have some tokens, I can save those tokens in this environment file, right? in designs i am having my constants so constants are nothing but my animations my uh, constants are nothing but my uh, image icons then image urls and images like simple making the constant uh, variable like storing the image path in the constant variable simple right and then in the utils i am having my theme file so you can see that this is my theme file all purplish dark theme right then the widgets i am having some buttons so that outline button and everything then the features folder i'm having some of the features that contact us so this everything you can see is divided into features so this is a simple navbar feature this is an intro feature this is a highlights feature this is a text tag feature this is the latest videos feature this is a contact me feature right so everything is divided into features you can see over here navbar and everything and every feature if i if i take you to one feature let me go to intro intro means uh, this part so this complete page you can see right so this is the intro in intro i'm having the desktop view and i'm having the mobile view right i'm i'm not i've not created any tablet view i'm showing the either mobile view or a desktop view in the tablet view whichever suits best for my screen right in the intro widget you can see that i'm having a responsive builder widget that is screen type dot layout and in the screen type dot layout screen type layout i'm having tablet view desktop view and mobile view and there are separate separate widgets for these three views right So this is how I have utilized responsive builder for every feature. Every feature the code remains the same. In the videos you can see that I'm having block folder. So in the block folder I'm having the logic, the business logic. So if you are not aware about block but you wish to learn it, you can either enroll into my course or you can also check out my block playlist. So it has it is having around 3 hours content and you will be familiar with block very well, right? Then this is the block folder, then models that means I need to convert my response json response into a dart model so that is being handled over here you can see that it's a simple dart model video id title and thumbnail url then the repository repository as you know that it handles the uh, it acts as a bridge between the business logic and the network logic so this is all about my repository simple ui coding the grid view uh, so not not the grid view but the wrap widget so that it adjusts according to the width so that's handled in desktop view and mobile view respectively right 
Then this is my server code. You can see that this is a Python server, right? In the main.py, you can see that I'm having, I'm loading the environment file. Then I'm creating an instance of the fast API. Then you are ha having all the routes. So I'm having routes. So this is my routes folder. In the routes, you need to check out videos route.py. So this file actually uh, connects to the YouTube API. You can see that the YouTube API key is there and channel ID is there, which is stored in the environment file. So that's obviously not uploaded on GitHub, right? Because that's my API key for my YouTube API, right? So this is my channel ID. I'm requesting to YouTube that, hey, this is a channel ID. That's my own channel ID, my own YouTube channel ID. And please return with the latest videos uh, for this channel, right? So what happens in this YouTube API is, if you are unaware about how YouTube API works, let me give you a, a simple idea. So first of all, it actually create, it actually returns with the response for the playlist for the latest uploads. So uh, YouTube actually creates your own playlist for uploads, right? So it is going to return me a response for that playlist. Now in that playlist, I want to first of all, fetch that first 10 videos or the latest videos, right? And in those videos, I want to get the YouTube ID, the thumbnail, so thumbnail also has three URLs, the high quality URL, the small uh, URL and the medium URL. So I'm actually returning the medium URL and the title for that video. And I'm creating a map for that response and I'm returning that response to my client side. So this is how my simple Python server is running. And this server is hosted on render. And you can see that I've also purchased the uh, domain name. So this domain name I purchased from GoDaddy, it costed me 1200 rupees for two years. So that's actually very cheap. Uh, so because my name is not very common, so, so that's why my name was, uh, my domain name was available at a uh, low cost, right? So that was it guys. I hope that you like this video and uh, definitely follow me on LinkedIn because there I keep pushing the updates that I'm making this code open source, that code open source, right? And you can obviously check out my Flutter course if you wish to learn Flutter. And if you wish that I actually uh, solve your doubts whenever you uh, encounter any, right? So this was it. Uh, definitely check out this website actionmadan.in and soon I'm going to have resources uh, where all my roadmaps, everything that I uh, want to publish or I want to give it to you guys, it will be there very soon, right? So till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.